DJ Hess. What's going on guys, DJ Hess here, and I'm showing you guys a compare and contrast video on the Retro Lancer, as you can see right here, is shooting straight up in the air as you hold down on the trigger, and uh, as you toggle it, it, it still bucks up, uh, comparison to the other, uh, to the other guns, and I'm comparing that one, next up will be the regular Lancer, and then the Hammer Burst to follow that, so here is the regular Lancer, when you shoot, it is fairly accurate, it's fairly straightforward, but when you hold down on the trigger, it does shoot upwards, uh, when you toggle it, obviously it's going to shoot fairly straight, and within that circle that you can see on the screen. Sorry about that. Uh, that's my phone again. Um, and then here's the the other weapon. This is the hammer burst, and this is an exact like hit. This, I mean, it's just accurate as can be. Wherever you aim, this thing is where it's going to go. And that was me holding down on the trigger. If you toggle in the right thumbstick, you actually go into a first-person view. First, I'm going to show you this retro lancer a little bit more here. You see the. As soon as you like toggle it, the the aim reticle just goes extremely huge. It magnifies by like three three times. Um, this, however, this is me holding down the trigger. It just shoots straight, just straight as an arrow. And uh, here's again the first person view, it's shooting upwards in that little uh, triangle, and it's just accurate. So if you have if you want accuracy for your gun out of these three guns, obviously the hammer burst is the way to go. And this is. Obviously, I mean, if, if you play Gears and you're going to be like, yeah, okay, you, you goddamn noob, no shit. Well, I'm just showing you guys what it does um, in a compare comparison video because I think that can be helpful to, to, to see it as a visual. Every, everybody always says it, but uh, it would be nice to actually see it. So here's, here's kind of the hammer burst again in action against shooting the target. You can see shooting to the left and the right of the target just barely a, a tad bit. It just uh, it doesn't even hit them, but um, when you hit the target, obviously... It, it does significant damage. So the hammer burst is definitely the long range weapon out of the three. Um, it is a powerful weapon. It, it can down the, the people in a couple uh, shots, well a handful of shots. It's not like Call of Duty, but you can down them pretty quickly, with, especially with some active reloaded uh, bullets. And uh, now I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the, uh, the other weapon here. You can see it just goes crazy. But actually, so I wanted to show you one other thing. So when you do a close range battle between these two, and unfortunately I cut the end of this clip, but when you do a close range battle between these two, just right next to each other, pulling the trigger at the same time, hip firing, uh, the the retro lancer is the clear winner, and the reason why is because uh, of the spray. The spray is all over the place. Um, but anyway, and, and and the retro lancer is extremely strong as well. Uh, right here, I'm going to show you guys. The, the regular Lancer, and you can see I'm shooting to the left and the right of the guy. It just does a little teeny bit of spray, or, or like a, a, just a baby bit of, of damage as you shoot to the left and the right of the, of the individual, because that's where the, the aiming reticle like ends up. Um, however, when you use this other one, like you can just see it, it just expands so far, like ridiculous in size. So if you were to shoot him direct on with that whole size, uh, it would do a significant amount of damage. Close range, medium range, um, the Retro Lancer is a good way to go. Now, the other thing to consider that I'll show you guys shortly is the uh, the Retro Lancer has a spear as you you uh, you can melee with it. Or like, hit the melee button or hold the melee button, and it'll, you'll run and you'll, you'll spear an individual. And the regular Lancer actually uh, does the chainsaw, which is... I don't know why they named it the Retro Lancer when it does the, uh, the Retro Lancer is... Is, seems like the new one, obviously, if you know Gears. But anyway, so kind of dumb naming convention in my opinion, but what can you do? Um, and I was showing you kind of like a prey and spray sort of damage chart here to see what happens. And they both do, I mean, in this range, they're both going to do damage um, as you uh, shoot across some bodies. So if you uh, are shooting at a body that's already been shot at, and I mean, chances are you can get some extra hits, like even with that, and, and down somebody. Um, at least from that distance. Now, I wanted to show you one other thing. And this is that these rifles, I want to call them assault rifles, but these these guns in this category, you cannot get headshots with them. And I don't know why they've chose to do this. I think maybe because it would be too easy. This has been a historical gears thing, but um, you can never get a headshot with the retro lancer, the as I'm showing you here, the lancer or the hammer burst. No matter how accurate of a shot you have, it will not give you a headshot. However, you can get a headshot with the pistol. So I don't understand the reasoning behind this, but it's just the way it goes. Um, and here I'm showing you again. Uh, well, I already showed you the. Yeah, okay, so here's a hammer burst. Um, yeah, 
direct headshot and you can see it doesn't show up as a headshot so kind of lame the other thing I wanted to show you guys is that each one of these guns take two melees the only difference is uh, you can only do a melee with the hammer burst and the retro lancer you cannot do a melee with the uh, the regular lancer and the reason why is because it, it automatically does a chainsaw when you rev it so and there's the retro lancer um, two melees and they're down um, the pistol takes three melees no matter what pistol you have it takes three and I just figured I'd show you a little bonus clip of that because uh, there's two there's two right there and it didn't end up uh, down and my dogs are fighting right now sorry about that um, but uh, but then if you use the uh, the Nasher uh, as well as the sawed off it just takes two melees and you will down the enemy so kind of need to know I guess I just threw this in here for you guys to sake and I didn't think I had the clip of this but I figured I'd show it now uh, it's three hits with the pistol and then, as I told you guys, there's what the headshot looks like. You can see the little uh, headshot emblem, and you can hear it. You can't mistake the headshot sound. It's, it's pretty badass. My dogs are fighting again, sorry. Uh, so, let's see here. What am I shooting? Oh, yeah, so this is a spear. You can see that um, you just have to hold down on the button. Uh, it's the melee button, and he'll run out and spear. One advantage, though, of the regular Lancer, this is ridiculous. The range that you get. I, see, I barely moved towards it. It didn't look like, it looked like I leaped towards it, but... And I'll show you guys again in a different clip. Um, it is the range on that thing is just insane. Like, and and I'm showing you melee range right there. And I'm gonna just barely tap in, or I'm I'm gonna barely move in past it, right here. And it's just gonna, it just it's like a tractor beam. It just automatically sucks you in. So if you and and that was the biggest complaint in, in Gears 2 was the chainsaw. Just such a noob. Even Gears 1, just such a noob weapon. And I wanted to show you one more little bonus clip um, before I give you guys a summary. And this is this. Uh, the chainsaws. If you have a chainsaw duel and nobody hits the B button at all, it will just automatically choose a winner. It doesn't cancel itself out. But anyway, I wanted to know which one would you guys choose? Uh, the Lancer, the which basically has a chainsaw and it is good at all ranges. The Retro Lancer, which is close to medium range, um, but does have the spear and the hammer burst, which is just extremely accurate and powerful. Um, let me know what you guys want to choose. But I wanted to leave you with one last bonus clip, and this is this. This is the smoke grenade. I just tagged the dude with a smoke grenade and it ends up downing him. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but I figured I'd share. Uh, you can actually use this smoke smoke grenade, and when you tag him, and I'll show you again right here, it automatically downs the dude uh, that you tagged. So kind of cool to know. Uh, and the other thing is, you can't if you throw the smoke grenade in and around the dude, it actually doesn't do any damage. Um, it, I thought it would, or or, or like uh, Call of Duty, if you throw the uh, the grenade off the dude's body. If, if it would uh, give you a direct impact kill or something like that, but it doesn't do shit as I'm showing you guys right here And I'll show you one last clip of me uh, throwing it on the ground and uh, It doesn't or kind of on the guy or whatever, but it doesn't do anything anyway If you guys like this video give it a thumbs up I was just trying to show you guys a little comparison between three guns I, I know it was uh, a long video and it's hard to cover all the topics so if I missed a lot I apologize, but I figured uh, some information for some of you guys out there would be helpful if you guys are new to the channel please subscribe and uh, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave a comment, and uh, have a good one, guys, and check back for more videos. Thanks.